This is Mr. Rizzo, and he's my student teacher, and he's going to help me demonstrate one of the activities we're doing while we're teaching kids how to dribble with their hands. Uh, the first way we start out, we use a poly spot, and we just do some real, real simple stuff to build their confidence and then to teach them initially how to use the right amount of force. So Mr. Rizzo is just going to drop the ball to start with, catch it, drop, catch, and drop and catch, and drop and catch. Then he's going to advance out to put a little more force on it and catch it almost like a chest pass except he's pushing it down. And then he's going to stand off to the side of one of the balls. He's going to hold, hold it like he did before. And he's going to do some pushing with just one hand and he's going to catch. So just a push and a catch, push and a catch, push and a catch, push and a catch. And then he'll go to the other side. And while we're doing this with kids, we'll spend a lot more time on it in here, but we're just showing you right now. All right, now he's going to stand directly behind the ball, or the dot. And he's just going to push and catch again. And then you tell him to switch hands. Now we're just going to tell them to start dribbling. Try to hit the dot every time. And switch hands, hit the dot. And now we'll have them stand to the side. And we'll explain to the kids that, uh, you know, when you dribble a ball, you really, when you're moving, you really want to dribble it to the side. So right now, they're going to dribble, hit the dot each time. Switch to the other side. Same thing, focusing on hitting the dot each time, putting the correct amount of force. Notice that he's only bringing the ball about a little bit higher than his waist each time. And now we'll have him just walk around a circle, hitting the dot each time. They'll do that for a little bit and they'll switch and they'll go the other way. Now we'll talk a little bit about defense in basketball and, and how the defense likes to, to take the ball from you. And the best way not to lose your ball in a game of basketball is to dribble away from the defender. So now the dot is going to become the defender and we're going to dribble away from the dot and we're going to go around the dot. We'll do that for a little bit and we'll go the other direction. Again, the ball is always away from the dot when we're working on uh, dribbling the ball away from the defender. Then we'll just do some fun things with them, they, kind of challenging. We'll tell them to, to start just dribbling, hitting the dot, but we want them to bend their, their knees and go down as low as they can go. Just dribble and then come back up. And then switch hands and go down as low as they can go. Stand, tell them to stand behind and do kind of a crossover where they go back and forth between their hands. We try to throw in some vocabulary words and tell them they're alternating hands. And then we'll have them just start to dribble and on a count of three or whenever I tell them, they're just going to close their eyes. And you can try to have them go up and down with their eyes closed or just challenge them a little bit more. It kind of depends on the age of the kids. And they start laughing when they, they miss it. They really enjoy doing this. And you can add whatever other ones you would like to add. These are just some that, that we add, and it works real well for teaching kids uh, beginning dribbling. 